Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jianxu. Let's talk about problem 15 in chapter 3. In this one, this is still the addition for vector problems. I tell us there is a mountain, right? It's a, a 2450 meter above the ground. And then we measured it. It's on the map to be 4580 meter horizontal. Uh, from the map in the direction of this 32.4 uh, degree west of north. In this one, I suggest you to draw a picture to understand what happens. That means there is a mountain, so this is a position where it is. And then we can draw a picture for this uh, um, horizontal. This one is east, x is east, and this one is north. Right? And then we can see it tells us the magnetic it measured on the map. It's, uh, 4,580 meters horizontal, so, and the angle is west of north, so west of north, west of north, so west of north, so this angle theta, agree? Okay? So this angle theta, 32.4 degree. And then, uh, ask you to find the displacement of the vector from the camp to the summit, and then the summit, so this is the initial position, and then this is the center of the mountain, and then the center of the mountain has a Z component, right? Z component is above it, so it has X component, Y component, and Z component. Z component we know is Z, so this is Z, right? The next one, we need to project this vector in X component and Y component. So we can see an X component is negative and Y component is positive. So you can see an X component, we use this one. Uh, we can use X component. Uh, when we do this one, we can see this is must be negative sign. Do you agree? So this is 122.4 degree is this one. And then if this one, we need to consider this as S component is cosine. And then this cosine is uh, just a negative sign. And we know the Y component is just a sine theta. And Z component is this one. And then we can write the vector in the i, j, k component. And again, the magnitude is i squared plus j squared plus z squared squared. Thank you.